I saw a very interesting point that was made by Vusi Chembeguayo at a leadership meeting very recently, and I wanted to point to the point that he actually makes, pointing out sporting leadership or looking or seeing leadership qualities and what they dish out to people. And so I thought, you know what, let's go over there, listen in, hear what exactly is being said. And so this is the channel that actually has the episode. Um, it was at the Harvard something, something, and the episode is over there. Now, I'm going to go straight into that point. And uh, as y'all know, it's the reality show with daily Christian commentary videos. Other videos done today, they'll be down in the pinned comments, and I'm going to check you out over them. All right. So this is what he said. Not a tenure conversation. It's not a talent or competency conversation. It's mm -hmm. a simply defining when we say we have a leader in place, what is it that we mean? Because leadership is clearly not an office. It's not a job. It's not a business card and it's not a title. So when we say there is a leader in place, what precisely is it that we mean? I... It's not a job title. It's not a job. What does it mean? I'll, I'll give you a quick example. And you mentioned it the apostle the other day over lunch. I often get on my social media people saying, you should X, Y, Z. And the X, Y, Z is typically run for office. So meaning they hear answers that you make that say, hey, you should be in that. Now, I, I must be careful how I frame this, but I'm not being called to get into a position of power because they think I would be a good leader. It's because they're noticing a leadership behavior and they believe it should seize a position of power. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when we talk about leadership in the context of Africa, the first, the first test for us is just to agree, what, what do we mean by a leader? And then the second test is to say, and what do these leaders, what should they deliver to their people? You hear that point? That's a very important point. What should the leader deliver? What is it? So if we are saying cl clarity in doctrine, clarity in biblical understanding, that's what we want or expect from a pastor who's a leader of a church, it makes perfect sense. And so the question being, what should then the leader deliver? And here people say they've seen leadership skills in their pastors but no but no problem now we we want to know what does what is the deliver what should they truly deliver to their people is it give me liberty or give me death or is it simply a better chance at tomorrow because it's entirely is it just mere try you know he tried to be a pastor <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, probably do it He's probably not going to do it. But he tried to be a pastor. Is, is that what's... Is that the criteria now? It's probable that you can have a better chance at tomorrow without liberty. Mm -hmm. Read uh, Dambisa Moyo's book, The End of the West, for instance. It makes this point very, very clear that the ascension of what you've seen from the East, the ascension of China, has been antithetical to the America's idea of give me liberty and give me death, or give me death that it is entirely possible that I can live a life that I want to live to your point about what's happening in the UAE and this instrument of liberty that we believe to be foundational in the West is actually not a part of the conversation. So when we say leadership, what is it that we mean? And un until that question is answered, since I suspect we're going to spend a century running around the same merry-go-round and every single generation will find itself a group of managers we have the instruments to seize power and use that power to authorize themselves leaders. And the young, competent, capable people will board that flight with a return ticket and no intention to use it. And they will go to another part of the world where they believe they will have the better chance at life. Precisely because we have given the wrong people the, the opportunity to lead us. In interesting. Very interesting. Now, it's interesting in... You can put it within the business space or you can put it within the political space. 
I'm putting it within the context of church. There are people that will go to church that will never come back because they experience hurt because you you enthroned an individual you called a pastor who was dodgy man. Because you saw, you know, you know, Dojine is that some people, <laughs> you know, the Bible says they will put up pastors after their own itchiness. So they have itchy ears. They look for itchy ear preaching pastors. So these people will continue supporting these itchy ear pastors until a person who becomes a victim to that pastor is. In the same light, what is the delivery? What did you expect to be delivered from this past? Or oh, you were just looking for bare minimums. You know, you know, he's there, he's holding the position, at least he's trying, you know, we are getting by. <laughs> Which is it? Because if you study the book of Timothy, it actually tells you criteria of the delivery. It tells you criteria of what you should consider as a pastor or what you should consider as a biblical leader. Someone who is, you know, in front of you. You know, you are all going. It's not as if your journey would lack without them. Mm -mm. They are just positioned in the path right alongside you. It's not this thing like with this prophetic ministries nowadays where if the prophet was not there, your life would be nothing. No, Jesus is what makes my life meaningful. If you decided not to take your role, God would play someone. So don't put yourself at an important point. Why? Because it's people that have taken on this. You know that particular part where he, where he says, uh, where he says there, there's these people that have taken on this thing and Doshi, right here. What is it that we mean? And um, until that question is answered, since I suspect we're going to spend a century running around the same merry-go-round mm. and every single generation will find itself a group of managers who have the instruments to seize power and use that power to authorize themselves leaders. So we have a system that will put certain people who will authorize themselves to be managers of the system. So there are people nowadays, in this day and age, there are businessmen who are enthroning charlatan. You are an enthroner of a charlatan. They go to this business, they go to these churches. You know, let me tell you guys, charlatan churches have the biggest millionaires in the world. I was just seeing one charlatan and I saw one big Hollywood preacher at his church just not long ago i think about last month so they have the millionaires are in these charlatans churches that's exactly what he's talking about then those people will claim the system for themselves and they will try to change it and prescribe it and because they've enthroned a wrong person in that particular thing i thought that was quite an interesting one what is the delivery but you see that delivery, it's not for guesswork. The delivery of what the pastor is supposed to do is literally described in the scripture. You look at Timothy, the two epistles, they describe that. You look at Corinthians, it tells you what the structure starts like. It tells you what leaders are like. In 1 Corinthians chapter number 3, it tells you they ought not to see themselves as if, you know, they are... You are not the priest over me, okay? <laughs> you are a pastor. You are here to manage the, aud the audience that God has given you. I'm not yours. I'm his. See, that's the kind of a person you can call a leader in the church. Because right now, there's a bunch of wolves. Ah, it's a bunch of wolves. They are there to enrich themselves. They're, they're constantly thinking about tricky ways of how to get into your pocket and the whole nine hojas. There is nothing else that they know except eating what belongs to you. What do you call a leader? And I like a, another part of this thing. He then goes to say, 
as a matter of fact this is something that should be defined individually because you as you walk your life you use those criteria to determine leaders in your personal life sexuality show to daily christian commentary videos thought that was worth us going through and i'll see you on them other episodes other episodes done today down in the pin comments y'all tell me your thoughts